Hey everyone, it's Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and in this video I want to demonstrate how to take an ovulation test. Ovulation tests are very helpful because they can help you track your most fertile days, so that can help you determine whenever you're actually ovulating. And ovulation is a process where your ovaries release an egg, and an egg needs to be released and fertilized by a sperm so you can get pregnant. And how ovulation tests work is that they detect the luteinizing hormone surge, which is known as the LH surge. And this happens every month to prepare your ovaries so they'll release an egg. And the LH surge can really vary from month to month when it actually happens, so it's important that you track that LH surge so you can increase your chances of conceiving. And this hormone surge is actually occurring about 24 to 36 hours before an ovary actually releases an egg. So you want to make sure once you get that positive result that you have sexual intercourse within the next 48 hours. Now in addition to this positive ovulation test result, there are other indicators that might tell you that you're ovulating, such as clear, stretchy cervical mucus which is similar to the consistency of an egg white. Also, your libido will likely be highest during this period, so you might find that you're more interested in physical intimacy around this time. So now let me demonstrate how to take an ovulation test. And for this test, I'm going to be using the clear blue digital ovulation test. First, you need to determine your menstrual cycle length because this will help you determine when you need to start testing. To do this, you'll want to determine the dates of when your last period started. The period start day is known as cycle day one and you're going to want to count until the day before your next period begins. It's best to use at least three months of cycles and average them out. You can then determine your average cycle length. If you need more information on calculating your menstrual cycle length, I have a video that you can watch that will help you do that. Once you know your cycle length, your ovulation test kit will have a chart to tell you which cycle day you need to start testing. For example, if your cycle was 29 days long, you'd want to start testing on cycle day 12. Now, if you don't know your cycle length, this brand, Clear Blue, actually recommends starting on cycle day 10. And Clear Blue suggests using it at least four hours after urinating and you can take it any time of the day as long as you use it at the same time each day. Now when you're ready to collect your urine sample on the day of your test, I found that it's easiest to collect the urine in a cup. Then you want to open the test strip package and find the pink arrow on the test strip and align it with the test holder's pink arrow. Then insert until you hear a click and prepare the test by removing the pink cap. You'll know it's ready when the test ready symbol appears on the screen. Now you're ready to dip it into your urine sample immediately. Dip the absorbent tip only into the urine for 15 seconds. Then we're going to remove the test from the urine, put the cap back on, and place it on a flat surface as we await the results. And the display will flash as it's reading the results just to let you know that everything is working. And around after about three minutes, the test will be complete. So if no LH surge is detected, you'll see a blank circle. In this case, you should keep on testing each day at the same time. Now if the smiley face appears, it means the LH surge was detected and you should have sexual intercourse within the next 48 hours to increase your odds of pregnancy. Once you get this smiley face, you can stop testing for the rest of your cycle. And after you're done reading the results, eject the test strip by hitting the eject button and discard it and keep that test holder for other tests that you take. Okay, so that wraps up this video on how to use an ovulation test. And if you'd like to watch more videos on pregnancy, you can access the videos in the YouTube description below.